question one figure one shows a wind turbine and wind turbines may generate electricity when the electricity is not needed two methods that can be used to store the energy from the turbine are method a heating water to a higher temperature method b pumping water hop hill into a reservoir the question is one which energy store increases when water is heated? So the energy store here will be thermal energy store because of heat or kinetic energy store due to increase in particle velocity. So either one of those will get you one mark. 1.2, which energy store increases when water is pumped up hill into a reservoir? That will be gravitational potential energy. So that's gravitational potential energy store due to change in height. Question 1.3. We're given a table that shows information about the two methods of storing energy. Method A and B, increasing water temperature by 80 degrees Celsius. B, pumping water uphill to a height of 500 meters. So energy store per 100 kilogram of water in kilojoules is 33,600 with A and 490 with B. Percentage of energy store wasted, 40% for A, 25%. For B. Installation anywhere high mountains. We're told to compare the advantages and disadvantages of two methods of storing energy. Include calculations in your answer. For calculation for part A, we heated heated water insulated to keep temperature higher. So you are insulating it to keep the temperature higher and energy stored by heating water. Also, that energy is very high per 100 kilograms. So if you look at here, this is the energy stored by eating 100 kilogram of water. So that's a very higher energy compared to 100 kilogram of water when you pump it up the hill. That's 490. So we have useful energy from heating 100 kilogram of water. And that useful energy can be calculated because you know this is 40% wasted. So 60% is not wasted. If that 40% of that is wasted, then 60% is not. So that means that the useful energy from heating 100 kilogram of water will be the energy 33600 that one here times the 60 percent that is useful 60 percent is 60 over 100 and that's 0 0.6 and that value is 2160 kilojoules also since 40 percent is wasted and the value for 40 percent will be 33600 times 0 0.4 0 0.4 is 40 over 100 and that is 13440 kilojoules and efficiency we know is 60 percent because that's useful for b suitable location is needed to pump water uphill and pumping water efficiency is higher useful energy from pumping 100 kilogram of water would be equal to 490 because that's 490 that on there that's the wasted 25 percent so 75 percent is the efficiency which is higher than that one so that would be 75 percent 490 times 0 0.75 which is 75 percent that's 75 over 100 and that gave you 367.5 kilojoules and we know the efficiency is 75 percent right also so the energy wasted which is 25 percent per 100 kilogram will be the 490 the actual energy minus the energy for 75 percent which is that one what's left is the 25 percent so that's the energy wasted 122.5 kilojoules for question 1.4 decreasing the amount of carbon dioxide released by different activities will help slow down climate change transportation and generating electricity are the two activities that releases the largest amounts of carbon dioxide in the uk in 2018 explain one change that would reduce the amount of carbon dioxide released by each activity this is for max so for transportation don't use fossil fuels vehicles such as petrol or diesel use electric hydrogen field or public transportation vehicles 
or cycle or walk for generating electricity. Don't use fossil fuel like coal or oil or gas. Use electricity, renewable methods or nuclear power.